Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is in the new screen flow 8. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an awesome new time saver feature called styles. Styles are presets that you can create for actions or clips, things that you do over and over again inside of screen flow. Well, you can now create a style preset. You can access your style presets or create new style presets by coming over here to the inspector panel and clicking on this button with a cube. Now up top here, these are referred to as properties inside of ScreenFlow, okay? Every one of these properties, you will be able to create unique style presets. Here's an example of a typical video action that I do on a lot of my tutorials. I'll start off in full screen, just like you see here using my webcam. Then when I start talking about a program such as Photoshop, I'm gonna scroll down here to the corner. Here I am down in the corner. To create the style preset for the video action example so we can use it over and over again, you're going to click on the action on the clip in the timeline here. Then you're going to drag your scrubby to the very end of that action because we want our preset to be saved in its finished state. At the beginning of the action, this is before we've done anything. If you watch the numbers over here, as I drag the scrubber, you can see here the numbers are all changing. We want to save this last one. This is the finished state, so we don't want to have to punch in these numbers every single time we do that animation. And again, you could, if you look down here, it has a drop shadow, it has a reflection, I cropped in, I scaled it. So when you're ready to create the preset, so it'll do this every single time, we're gonna basically save this action. You're gonna come up here, we're in the video properties in the inspector panel. You're gonna click on this button with the cube, that's the styles. You're gonna come up here, click on this plus symbol, and now you can see these are all the parameters that we are going to actually save as a style preset. Crop, that's resizing, drop shadow, reflection, the X and Y position, the scale, all this stuff is built right in. When you're ready to go, click the plus symbol again. Now we're going to name it. We're going to name it scale down. Okay, so something like that. We're going to hit the enter or return key. Now we have created a preset. Now that you know how to create new style presets, let's put them to use. To add a style preset in the new ScreenFlow 8, just drag the scrubber to wherever you wanna add the preset. We're gonna go ahead and click on the layer here. Since we are adding a video style preset, cause we already created this, make sure that you're in the properties over here for video. Choose plus action. That is gonna add an action. If I zoom in here to the timeline, you can see here that it added this action right here. With it selected, we're gonna come up here and click on the button that has the cube on it for the styles. We're gonna click on that. And we're gonna choose the one that we just created, which is scale down. So as soon as I click on this, it's gonna do all the work for us. So here we are in full screen. I'm gonna click on scale down, boom. Just like that, screen flow. Remember the animation that we wanted. If I hit the space bar, you can see here it added the animation. There was nothing I needed to do other than just click the preset. If I want to change the speed of this, you can see here, if I want to make this a little slower, just drag the action out. The longer the action is, the slower it is. So if I do it again, you can see it slowed it down. If I want to speed it up, I can just drag this. You can make changes and update presets that you've already created. You can rename your presets and you can also delete your presets. Just click on the button. In the style presets, you can go to any one you want. Let's go down to this one, style num scale down number two. If I click this little drop down or click on the settings, it's the same thing. I can make some changes, click update, and it will take all the new effects. So if I click update, you can see here, it's gonna go over all the things that I wanna do. Maybe I made a change to one of these parameters. Or if I go back here, I can click on the one again. I can rename it by simply just typing in a new name. Or if I change my mind, I don't want it anymore. I can just press the delete key and that preset is gonna be gone. And that is how you use the new style presets in ScreenFlow 8. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.